Well, for, for about a month now, nurses at Winnie Palmer Hospital in Orlando are offering something new for moms to be. Ballet bars are now installed in the hallways for a dance break and delivery. Mm -hmm. News 6 anchor Kirsten O'Connor went to go check it out, and it may have gotten results for one particular mommy. Posture, posture. Five, six, seven, eight. Dancers hear those counts. And can you bring up your toes a little closer? Inside a studio. Soften your knees. But this ballet bar in the hallways at Winnie Palmer Hospital is about counting a different number. If you're having contractions that are a 10 out of 10, you probably are going to look at them like crazy, but they do get them up. Nursing operations manager Deborah Davis calls the ballet bar something new. I would say this is the uh, most used labor option that we have for moms to be in labor and delivery. And I had done ballet when I was little. This is Maria Esteves' third pregnancy. Three months into my pregnancy, four months, uh, I had a, a thin uterus from the previous uh, C-sections and then they put me on bed rest and it's been tough. For the last eight and a half weeks, she's been at the hospital and is finally clear to walk around to prepare for delivery. And I'm counting the seconds. <laughs> now I feel it even more. I need to rebuild all that muscle that I lost during this bed rest because my legs feel like jello right now. If you've been in bed for a long time, it just helps to get you up. Davis says the bar can be used for stretching, stability, and for strong moms like Esteve, a short workout. And it can be a long 12 hours, 18 hours, just laying there watching the clock. Making the best out of it is all you can do. And not look at the things you're missing, but the things you're going to do once you're out. And just one day after our interview. Gabriel Jeronimo. Yeah. Getting results for your health. Kirsten O'Connor, News 6.